We live in such a cynical time right now. Everything seems so dark and hopeless. America really needs a reminder, and a lot of reminders, of how lucky we are to live here, of the great things about America, of the great things America has done for the world, of all the great things that freedom has done for the world. We don't have to look far back in history to see a good example, and to me, Ronald Reagan was a great example of the American ideal. As children, we always thought that America was a good guy. In war movies, we always saw America as the liberators. In cowboy movies, we always saw John Wayne kill the bad guy. In police movies and television shows, the police were always good guys. The robbers were always the bad guys. But in today's movies, it's a reflection of popular culture in general. But in Westerns, you can't tell who's good and, or, and who's bad. In police shows, police are seen as corrupt and the, and the robbers are often glorified. In war movies, if they're made anymore, Americans are always seen as evil aggressors, war mongers. It hadn't always been that way. When we were kids, we always thought that America was a good place, but now we tend to deconstruct our heroes. We always want to tear down our heroes. We always want to see the, the worst qualities about America. What I'm trying to do is reconstruct our heroes to glorify the American icon. I want to recognize all the positive characteristics about America. American icons are a common bond that we all share. What I've tried to do with these images, I've tried to manipulate them, change the color, give them these sometimes loose and abstract expressionist of brush strokes, and take these images, these familiar images, and give people a reason to see things in a new light, and remind people of what made America great. I go around to a lot of high schools and talk to kids about uh, my book and about American history. And you would be shocked by what these kids don't know. They don't know who the first guy to land on the moon was. I mean, they don't know anything about the basics of American history. And they, don't, they have no idea about the time frames, when things happen. And, and these are smart kids, too. And it's not their fault, though, because we send our kids to these schools where they don't teach it anymore. They don't teach history. They don't teach the founding of America. They don't teach what made America great. I mean, we live in the greatest country in the history of civilization. And so what are the things that made us great? What are the things that made America different? Different from the rest of the world? You know, when our founders came over here, they came here to get away from the oppression of old world monarchies and theocracies. They came here because they wanted to do things their own way. And it's that kind of spirit, that kind of individualistic uh, that work ethic and creativity, that kind of spirit came over here and, and it still resonates today in, in America is still inside all of us. And the thing that made us great was the freedom that we had to be the best that we could be. And in America, when government steps out of the way, Americans are the best at whatever we do. You know, today we have these leaders that will travel around the world talking bad about America, talking about all our faults, talk about everything evil we've done in our past. And they never celebrate the great things about America. They never seem to remind the world about the great things America has done. If there's a tsunami in the world, who do they call? They look to America to come come to the rescue, and we do, and we're never thanked. I remember during the tsunami disaster, not only were we not thanked, but the rest of the world taught bad about us for not sending enough. And the rest of the world has benefited so much from this country, and we're never thanked. We are, not only are we not thanked, we're, we're scorned. My favorite president, of all time is Ronald Reagan. Reagan was president when I was in college. It was such an optimistic time. America was riding this high. My group of friends and I, we all felt like anything was possible back then. Reagan was responsible for a lot of that optimistic feeling. And his charisma did have a lot to do with it, but it was more than just his charisma. It was his belief in us. Reagan believed in America. Reagan believed in American principles. He believed in all of the things that made America great. He believed in the things that made America different from the rest of the world. Back in the 80s, there was this air of optimism and hope in the air, and Reagan's hope wasn't the kind of hope that was based in some sort of utopian fantasy. His hope laid in the foundations of America, in the founding principles of America. Everything that Reagan stood for was solid and real. When Reagan got up and spoke, you know he believed what he believed. He didn't have to take a poll to find out what he believed about any issue. He had a core set of principles. 
and that's how he governed his life. So what we need today is we need another leader like Reagan who's going to come along and tell us why what he believes is right. And if what he believes is based in our founding principles and based in the American ideal, then we'll know it and we'll recognize that. The truth always resonates with people. Reagan was the first president I voted for.